Kansas City visits San Diego in the Thursday night NFL game. I wrote about this game in uh, my column in the gaming today. I think it features the two worst coaches in the NFL. Hot seat, hot seat. Hot seat for both of them. And uh, it's not the greatest game, but listen, when you lay 11 to 10 and you pick a winner, they're all good games. Anyway, San Diego is an eight point favorite. I, I have certain metrics that I look at. I know everybody does their own thing here. The way I evaluate teams, Kansas City is the worst team in the NFL and I'm not even looking yet at turnovers and Chuck you had a, a little thing you wanted to mention about Kansas City's turnovers yeah and to add as far as to add to that Kansas City minus 18 in the turnovers they're so far ahead of everybody else Dallas Cowboys are second minus 11 they're seven ahead in the minus column wow. and that's a that's a big this, stat this right early there. in the season yeah halfway through and a lot of those have been quarterback interceptions obviously right. Castle being a big part of that well the other thing about Kansas City they have never had the lead and it's funny, they have one win. But they've actually never had the lead in a game, according to the way the NFL keeps statistics, because they kicked a field goal and the game ended. So uh, time, of, time of the lead was actually zero. So they've never had the lead the whole game. Listen, you hate laying eight points with a team uh, coached by Norv Turner. The San Diego Chargers greatly disappointed last week. VR, I think you had, uh, Cleveland. You had Cleveland last week. Uh, do you come back with San Diego in a spot like this? I like San Diego in this spot. I mean, here's a team now that, again, I look for a team that's overvalued or undervalued, and I think San Diego falls on the undervalued side. Coming into the season, Kansas City was the second sexy pick. Yes. There wasn't a wise guy in town that didn't yeah. have an over ticket on him for season wins. Everybody was loving them. Castle, Cornell, they, how the players play for him. So this is a big disappointment. I mean, here's a team that historically has good home field advantage. Right. Even when they're not good for the right. season, they win at home. They haven't been able to win a game yet this year at home. So I, I believe your metrics. I mean, I, it's been proven, their statistics, and just the season they're having. I don't think it has anything to do with luck. They're just a bad football team. When your starting quarterback is a 66 quarterback rating, and then he's out and your next guy to steps in has a even lower quarterback rating, you're not going to get it done. How easy is it to stack the box against Jamal Charles? That's all they have to do. So I like San Diego in this spot. Again, going to be a little difficult to lay this kind of chalk, but there's always you different like options. Why say, yeah. not use a teaser in this spot? Might be a you good get spot. the key, tease through the key numbers. You get a home team that more or less just has to win at home. And you got a Kansas City opponent that's just awful. San Diego already beat them. This is a very winnable game for them. I, I just want to throw in, not only is San Diego horrible throwing the ball, or Kansas City horrible throwing the ball, they give up 103.2 is the uh, quarterback rating against them. So they don't exactly stop anybody either. So it's a, a you know a, a terrible – you can't pass and you can't stop the pass. It's awful tough to win in, the, in today's NFL. I, I hate both these teams. I mean, I, I've enjoyed going against San Diego and going sure. against Kansas City. Um, you know, you look at San Diego, though, they were good enough to have a 10-point lead at New Orleans. They were good enough to be leading Denver 24 to nothing at the half. They weren't good enough to hold on to that lead, but I don't think I don't think we could say the same thing for Kansas City. You mentioned they haven't even had a lead in a game, so how could they blow a lead if they never have one? And then you look at the both coaches, not a big fan of. But uh, I, agree. I, I don't know if you had in your article I read somewhere, Romeo Cornell, this is uh, Charles. They're you know they're third in, in football right. running the ball. Yes. So they asked Cornell after uh, after the game, why did you only give uh, Charles the ball five times in this game? And he looked and he he was mystified. He, said, he didn't realize. Yeah, he didn't realize. I'll quote, quote what he said. He goes. I'm not exactly sure why. I mean, you know, he had no wow. idea. And, you know, so this is a team. The, and you're, yeah. you're Are you the head coach? Yeah. Yeah. You're is there another team. guy so, we should ask? You know, I'm, yeah. I'm not a North Turner fan, but this guy can't even drive the bus. Yeah. You know, yeah. So, All right, one I mean. question I do want to throw out there for you guys. Uh, San Diego did beat them in the first meeting, 37-20. to 20. Does that give Kansas City some sort of I, I, an I advantage coming into the game, When you're that bad, too? I don't believe in revenge. Mm -hmm. I really don't. Unless something happened at, on a personal level. I just think that the media and betters, it's something water, it's water cooler talk. Yeah. I don't think the players are I saying. I think Giants unless, and Dallas are different. That's different. You have yeah. a rivalry going, stretching yeah. decades. That's a different story. And it's a situation. If San Diego came into this game with a good record, they're playing well, uh, and now Kansas City, maybe they have a chance a to threat. knock them out. Yeah. Exactly. They they hurt them. Sure. I don't think they're not, no, neither team uh, is going to be flat for this game. I agree. Because of that reason. Okay, well, we've talked about it. Let's go ahead and make it official. 
For my free pick this week, I'm going to take the San Diego Chargers minus eight over the Kansas City Chiefs. I think right now Kansas City probably is the worst team in the NFL, and we can judge all sorts of different metrics. One of the things that they do do well is run the ball. But, you know, in this NFL nowadays, you have to be able to throw it. You have to be able to defend the pass. Kansas City does neither of those. They're really on a downward spiral. I think it's just two very bad coaches. Hate laying the points, but right now I think you really – have almost no choice. Kansas City is that bad. So a Thursday night game, I'm more of the free pick. And by the way, it's a bigger day than that. Cade Cridland, who's our uh, tech and uh, producer back there, it's his birthday that day. So awesome. and I think he's going to be at the game too. So I wanted to mention too that a Quinn con had a concussion. He's not going to play. Castle exactly. is the starting yes. quarterback. Uh, That's for even this game. worse. They can't get any kind of <laughs> rhythm. And, and you know what tells a lot? I, you know, I always bring up what was the line before the season started? Yeah. Because I like to see what's the perception now, and if there's a fundamental reason behind the perception that's changed before the season. Canner offered this game at San Diego minus five and a half. That tells you the sexy pick Kansas City had a little more respect. And even though San Diego comes in having lost three straight games straight up and against the spread, this line's even higher yeah. than it was then. That's telling you Shows just you how, how bad, bad Kansas are. City truly is. Okay, coming up next, we're going to hear from VR. He's going to take a look at California and Washington, a pretty good Pac-12 matchup. And you can see all our videos at pregame.tv.